Hello folks. Today we're looking at how we can add a book into a Moodle course. Now book became a standard plugin in Moodle in Moodle 2.3 but prior to that it was a third party plugin. It's a really cool feature and we're going to have a look at it now. I'm logged in as a teacher on my 2.4 site into my course. I've got editing turned on and I'm going to add an activity or resource. Scrolling down I'm going to select book and add. Book is really good when you've got a collection of information that you want to put in front of your students, especially if you want to put it in a readily printable format. Like all resources, the description can be shown on the course page if you like, but unlike other resources, book is a lot more dense, so we can separate it out into chapters and we can choose to format those chapters with numbers or with bullet points or just indented or with no formatting at all. The choice is up to you. I encourage you to experiment with what's available there. Personally, I like also being able to put custom titles on my chapters. It's gonna be visible to my students here. I'm not worried about restricting access and activity completion on this one today, just wanna demonstrate book. So I'm gonna click on save and display so I can go and add content to it. My first chapter is the introduction. I'm going to set out what I want my students to do within this course. I can't create a sub chapter until I've created a first chapter. That's just common sense, really. And you can see it can get quite text heavy very quickly. But because it's an online resource, I can create extra hyperlinks, add multimedia to it and make it a lot more interactive than a static resource created on my computer. This one, for example. I can create a mail to link. so that when they click on it, it automatically opens up their email software and they can send me a message if they need to. I can also add videos in here, like we've demonstrated on other videos in this series. Book is easy for students to navigate. There's always toggle switches up the top for going back and going forward. Once you've got your first chapter created, you'll see it listed in a table of contents at the top of the blocks on the left hand side. From here, I can change the content within that chapter so I can edit it, I can delete it, I can hide just this chapter from my students so if I'm not quite ready to release everything in the book, I can still release the whole but hide individual components of it, and I can add a new chapter to it, which also allows me to add the subchapter. There is no icon for adding the subchapter, you just add a separate chapter and tell it to be a subchapter when you create it. And I'm not saying these are particularly good learning outcomes. It's just a demonstration of adding in more text, bullet points, and formatting it however you want to do it. Save your changes. And now because I chose numbering, I've got my introduction chapter and my learning outcomes chapter. As a student, I can also come down to the settings block and teachers can do this too and either print the whole book or just print off this chapter. And if you're into e-publishing formats, you can import chapters as well. Book is a really cool resource when you have a lot of content that you want to get across to your students in chunks. 
It keeps it all together for them, but allows them to progress at it through their own rate. Really encourage you to use it.